Brookwood families, I'm Kevin Nunnery, high school pastor, here with a preview of what we're covering in the coming weeks in our high school ministry. July 24th, 31st, and then August 7th will be a three-part series called Taboo. Do you remember that old board game, Taboo? Uh, you had to get people to guess the word without using that word or a handful of other keywords. It might seem like a weird basis for a series, but here's why I chose it. We have certain subjects that are treated as taboo. Stop and think, what are you traditionally told to never discuss around the family dinner table? Probably religion and politics. And there's a longer list of things that folks think we shouldn't talk about at church. But here's the deal. If we don't talk about difficult, controversial topics in church, where are our students going to hear about them? From Hollywood or social media, maybe the lunch table at school. I think to not talk about these things is doing a disservice to our high schoolers, so we are going to dive right in. I'm telling you in advance, these are some touchy topics, and if you've got concerns, hear me, you are welcome to come and attend this series with your student. And I don't mean sit right beside them and cramp their style, I mean we can set you up somewhere in the back uh, so that you're not too close, but you are welcome to attend with us on Sunday afternoons. The theme verse for our Taboo series comes from Ephesians 4.15, which says, Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. The first week of our series is July 24th, where we will discuss faith and politics. It might seem like a weird combination. Surely one has nothing to do with the other. After all, we have a separation of church and state, so shouldn't we leave faith in one bucket and politics in another. We'll address those questions and more by examining some of the explicitly political statements that we find in both the words of Christ and the writings of Paul. We'll examine a fair amount of scripture uh, on this evening, but the longest passage that we will touch on will be Romans 13 verses one through eight. Some questions for you to ask your student coming out of this week. One, how does your faith impact the various areas of your life? Two, do faith and politics mix? Why or why not? And then three, how do we place our faith in Jesus and his kingdom more than politicians and earthly kingdoms? July 31st, our launch point will be this question. What does it mean to be truly pro-life? Now, when I planned this series months ago, I had no idea that by the time it came around, we'd be living in a post-Roe world. What better time than now to have this discussion? Our primary passage will be Matthew 25, verses 31 through 46, where Jesus instructs his followers on the caring for of the least of these. If all life is precious in the sight of God, then our pro-life ethic must mean more than just seeking to abolish or restrict abortion. Some questions for your family to discuss following this week's teaching. One, how can we value and cherish life? Two, how do you think the pro-life conversation is particularly polarizing? What do you understand the term pro-life to mean? And then three, what are some of the least of these that God has placed in your path? and How can you serve them? The final week of the series will be on August 7th, where our topics will be sexuality and gender. This is a huge conversation in our society right now, and as Christ followers, we cannot shrink from this topic or any topic just because we're scared of being out of step with culture, or canceled, or, or anything like that. Now, at the same time, we've got to learn to engage this topic without coming across like a huge jerk. So what does God, the creator of all things, have to say about how he designed us? We'll look at numerous passages again this week, but our foundational verses will be Genesis 1:27 and then Mark 7, 20 through 23. Consider the following coming out of this week's teaching. Why do you think there are so many different viewpoints when it comes to sexuality and gender? Two, how do we as Christ followers engage with those who disagree with us on these topics? And then three, if God loves us, why does he call us to deny ourselves in Matthew 16, 24? And what does that even mean? Now, a couple of resources for you. We have a recap of our Sunday teaching uh, available by Wednesday on our YouTube channel. You can see that channel now on the screen. Uh, we also have the audio from each week's teaching time available in podcast form. You can search for 
Brookwood High School Ministry, pretty much anywhere podcasts can be found. And that will also be available uh, by the middle of the week. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me. You see my contact information now on the screen. I'm very much looking forward to this series. Uh, and I know it may be a little bit divisive, uh, but we are endeavoring to speak the truth in love. So as we do that, we will pray and ask God the Father to give us wisdom as we engage with these topics. Hope to see your student and maybe even you for this series.